only justice. This is so fun! Crank <clears throat> it! It's serious. I am calm! Looking good. Need a boom? Welcome to Moonbreaker, a turn-based strategy tabletop tactics game. The leader of each team is called a captain. Here we can choose our ship assists, which are recharging and otherwise free. One win, one bug! Our opponent's information bar is red and at the top, and our own bar is at the bottom. My name is Extilibur. Where am I? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Because we are moving second in this online match, we will start with one additional crew man. To win, we must defeat the opposing team's starting unit, the captain. These paradoxes give pause. Because we are a melee unit, as indicated by the yellow border to two next to my health of 20, we need to pursue the enemy. The blue one indicates this crew man can hit enemies at a distance from one damage. Ready for my close-up. These slots show how much cinder I possess. Currently zero, as we have finished using them all. Defense! Defense! The number on the right, as well as the visible filled-in pips themselves, indicate how much cinder I will have on my next turn. Careful, that's velvet! <laughs> When the opposing captain uses a ship assist, it is revealed to us permanently, as enemies can reuse it once the boxes have been lit up again. At the end of each turn, one box will light up for both ship assist powers. I got a child's budget? At the top left, you can see that Maximus has both Rapid Fire and Fleet Footed. Rapid Fire allows him to attack twice. Fleet Footed allows him to move after damaging someone. We have enough Cinder to deploy some, but we will reserve our Cinder for this turn. The reason for this is our ship assist. Escape Hatch, which will deploy our most expensive, randomly drawn crew member. We will spend three on the next turn to reinforce the bridge, and then use Escape Hatch. Feel better? Each crewman interacts with the match in a different way. You can hover over any text to learn more about each ability. Our starting captains have begun the match with 20 health each. Health can sometimes be recovered through other abilities or ship assists. Come on, it's fun! As you can see, the blue one shows that the frog has some method of delivering damage at range. No pause button, huh? Okay, go, go, go! Now that we have more than three cinder, it is sufficient to click the far button to reinforce the bridge. The crew member is randomly pulled from the roster. We receive Jailbreak, a four cinder character. We must do this. This means that it will be Fury with five cinder and eight health who will drop for free and lose two health through the use of the escape patch. Fury is tough enough to handle. On your guard. Smells like cheers. Got a lovely selection. Oh, I forgot my lucky cravat. The blue orbiting circles above the two crew members indicates they are stunned from the leg. Hmm. <laughs> Anguish builds strength.
while the opponent takes her turn, will instruct you on more details. You start with a roster of 10 crewmen, plus your captain. Cinder is used for special actions. Character movement and normal attacks are free, as our ship assists. Character abilities, reinforcement, and deployment will cost Cinder. That specific enemy captain, Astro, can use Cinder to remove stuns. Faint whisper. The yellow blob indicates this character is close enough to engage or be engaged in melee, regardless if you have such an attack or not. It's fine. I'm fine. Area abilities can and will hurt your own teammates. I forget nothing. Incoming! Ah, bold and zesty. That is wise. Theria's number is temporarily green. This shows she has a bonus modifier on her attack, which is part of her passive ability. I taste their panic! Use this wisely. Due to her low help, you're going to deploy a shield of hope on Furia. This will allow her to ignore the next point of death. There are ways to heal, like our opponent just showed. You do not yet currently possess any. In this case, the enemy used a ship assist to temporarily recall her crew member for some help. Healing is more effective than my shield of hope. However, if we defeat an enemy, a random teammate within my range will receive a free shield of hope. That enemy gunner just gave her captain a rapid fire ability for the turn. If you remember, that lets her attack twice. Furia is down for the rest of the battle. The enemy captain is at half health. Position just deployed another gun. This will be over real quick. This one is capable of powering up. Since we know that ability, we can brace ourselves. Full-bodied and rich. It looks like our opponent is trying to get away and is forming a line of defense with both the heavy gunner and the slightly healed crewmate. Honestly, kind of a relief. I am slightly out of striking distance. But as I wish to psychologically keep the enemy off balance, I will use Cinder to perform a special attack on her alone. That Cinder glow. Let's add some texture. Stay guarded, always. Watch me work. Defense, defense! Although our Grenadier is unable to forcefully restrain the enemy at this rate, we can attempt to box her in. Astra, in a blind panic, leaps clear over our blocker. Budget. 
evil doers will lose. We can see this guardian must have been particularly expensive, as his cost has been lowered twice for a total of four seconds. If they try, they'll fail. The guardian has just deployed a defensive ability to protect Astra. We should keep that in buffer as we pursue. Frantic and low on options, the powered up enemy is unable to get a bead on us before we leap forward. It's almost time. To keep the momentum, the tempo, the pressure. Mine's no baffle. A grenade will do. Grenade? Embrace it! Mm, opulent and buttery. Want me? I'm right over here. Didn't break a sweat. Be brave. For justice. Use this wisely. As soon as my crew modifiers their address, I interrupt and use both my melee strikes as well as the sword of justice function. Then I immediately relinquish the turn back to them before they have time to figure out their next move. in my path. With Astra now behind her crew, it will be difficult to get into melee range. A logical counter move would be to prevent me from making ranged attacks. not lost. We still have an explosive surprise. No pause button, huh? Swiftly. Back, evil doer. If the enemy had more time to think, their heavy gunner could have very well taken a game-changing shot at our grenadier. You said it. The real me is not. Would a grenade help? A brilliant move. A glittering plume. In this case, victory is ours. But next time, we may not be so fortunate. Tonia played a key role in that battle. Perhaps it is time to allow her to dress in something as flashy as her grenades. Given her slightly boisterous personality, Perhaps a lighter shade of blue would suffice. It is not my cup of tea, but I think she will be happy with recognition.
At one time, the galaxy identified me as a death bot, as I have reevaluated my sequence of operations. I am an infinitely better captain than I am a painter. grenades could use a little more emphasis, a little more bang.
And finally, to commemorate her skilled position and maneuver in this first match, we will gild a portion of her boots. It would seem this recent success has gone to her head. Each battle, like this one, can be a fast-paced encounter where you must outsmart, outthink, and outmaneuver your opponents. Welcome to Moonbreaker. 